Welcome back to the Tardarium Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with a weekly news review for November 7th, 2021, 2021. So much stuff going on this week. Lots of great reveals, lots of updates to existing projects, and a lot of good things to talk about for a lot of different franchises from Transformers, Masterpiece, Legends, Mainline, and of course, a little bit of G.I. Joe and a little bit of other stuff to talk about. We'll get into this coming up. So before we get into all this, a little bit of Show Z stuff going on with the 1111 cell. And the thing about it is that right now, go there, you can sign up for the premium for half price, $4.99. They really just want to get you to buy from them. That's a the goal. But you get on 1111, and it's through like noon of 1112, to get yourself 5% back on what you purchase. And then there's all these one-time use Coupons, yeah, 20 off 500, 25 off 600. That may not sound like much, but when you stack it with getting 5% back and all that stuff, so pretty good sell, a lot of stuff going on, but that, that premium membership, all year long, you get 3% back on everything, and it's redeemable immediately after you pay for whatever you bought for your next item. So, shows he does a lot of great things, and this is their biggest sell of the year. So we're going to start off looking at this uh, Masterpiece Cliff Jumper, and I don't know, I got mixed results. I really enjoy looking at their Bumblebee on my shelf, and I think I'm going to enjoy this Cliff Jumper the same way, but there's some mistransformations here and there on some of these pictures, and this thing is not all the way done, and it's kind of leaf pictures, but it's okay. In fact, right now it still stands as the best. Now, I bet Fans Toys is going to make a better one. Fans Toys has hinted at making one, and I'm sure it's going to be better. But for now, this might be the best on the market. A little bit of kibble in the back, but still more slimline than the other ones in all of the clip jumpers that are out there. The MMC, the X Transbot, they all have serious issues. That this one, yes, the feet are still kind of kibbly and goofy and stuff. The back's weird, but overall, I still think this one will be the best. But it won't be the best forever. Fans Toys will beat it. Okay, so TFC Toys is coming out with their HNBAEX Clear version. They've made this before and they're making it again. And clear the Justice Force. So here it is in the clear, in the bot mode. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty good. Scary on clear plastic because it breaks real easy. But here is the alt mode. By the way, this is one of those collectibles that's not going to be flipped back and forth a lot. Pick your favorite mode, display it in that mode, and that's pretty much how it's going to stay forever, right? So, it looks good. 1 60th scale. Interesting that they put that information in there. Kind of like that. Seems like X Transbots has been saving face for now. Then we're going to see the faces of their new upcoming version of Ultra Magnus, and he looks pretty good. Now this is kind of like he's giving uh, instructions, talking face. Here is a yelling face, or maybe a <laughs> a uh, darn it, open darn it face. And then we get into this, uh, I'm really not happy. <laughs> I don't got time to deal with this face, but kind of fun they show all these faces. Now we're getting to more X-Transbot stuff. Now they got something, They it's their Aegis, and it's a blue Aegis. They call it... Um, diamond and i think this is sort of something that goes along with sort of a this diaclone colors i heard somewhere this is supposed to be diaclone but i'm not 100 percent up on my diaclone game so here we are looks cool i can vouch that the figure is pretty solid i have it and i've i, I had a couple of versions of this and it, it's pretty good here we go with shout and this is the black repaint of their skids version and it looks good and still the jury is still out will their skids be better than takara's will takara beat them or will they complement each other because they do do things different now we've got another repaint it's staunch uh something staunch around here it's red and it's kind of like the reboost and takara's doing a reboost and all this stuff i've decided i'm gonna go with reboost I'm, i've already got 
uh, their blue one, I've already got a got a X Transbots blue. I'll get red and Takara. And if and the thing about Takara won't sell out immediately. You can still get it for a while. So if I like it and like it more than X Transbots, then I can always just like, all right, I'll just go ahead and get the other Takara. And if I like it less, then it's just like, ah, oh, I got a red one. It works. But now Staunch, it gives you the option that Takara also gives you. Now there are a lot of pictures out there of the newly released version of Soundwave from, or Acoustic Wave, from Fans Toys under the disguise of Robot Paradise. Now, I think it looks good. I am shocked how much bigger this is than the Takara. I mean, it's a little bit bigger. It's a minute amount bigger, but it feels like a big change. And it's cleaner, it's smoother, it's more tuned, it's more tuned accurate. But it's been nearly a decade. I think this came out in 2012. So we're almost at a decade. And so a decade later, yes, we should see some improvements from the Takara. But Takara still looks pretty darn good overall. It's not that much different. It's like 20% better in my opinion. I've got this on the way. I look forward to getting it. Now last week I didn't talk about Kane Toys setting up and displaying at a show. And now I've actually forgot which show. I think it was one of the 2021 expos that's uh, Shanghai Expo or something. I forgot which one. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. But they did show off combined mode. And I don't know, is 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 it eight figures? Is it nine figures? I don't know anymore. It's, it's crazy what's going on with this set. But they are stepping up their game, showing off actual prototypes. Finally gonna finish the set. And I kind of look forward to those of you in on this to get it finished and start showing off all your pictures on social media. Speaking of Kang toys, they are doing a Volcanicus. They are doing Dinobots that will turn into a combined mode and that's cool for those that like that. I personally don't want any of my Dinobots to combine, but there are people that love this, that absolutely love this. So it's kind of cool. Hasbro had a huge slip up by doing that and now they're spending lots of time and effort to re visit that and make better Dinobots, but with this, their goal from the get-go is to have a combiner and yeah, it'll probably look pretty good. So 3-0 has their deluxe uh, Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime box here, and then we, we see another updated picture of it after this, but it's kind of interesting. One thing you're going to know is 3-0 does great work, their figures look amazing, they uh, cost a bundle of money. Maybe it's a bundle of joy if you buy this and get this and display it. They don't transform, so they can look better than a transforming option, theoretically. And there's tons of paint apps, tons of articulation. Looks pretty good. I, you know, if I was in on this, you know, I'd be in on it. It looks great. I'd be happy with it. And it looks really good for a movie option. So Josiah Toys has put out images of a theoretical upcoming cosmos and it looks pretty good i don't know how big it would be if they made it and it does transform it's an interesting transformation it's more of a take on a g1 cosmos and adding articulation and i kind of in a way like that that's kind of something that isn't ex explored as much the maybe it's the same exact size as the g1 and they just added articulation if so that's pretty awesome pretty cool it looks pretty good for what it is, will they actually make it? Maybe not. Alrighty then, we're getting into some Legends stuff now, and I have to admit that I am impressed with what's going on with the New Age version of Ultra Magnus. Now, it looks pretty good in the Ultra Magnus form. I don't know how tall it's going to be, and I don't know a lot about the thing, but it does look pretty good. So, here are the parts, you know, give me your parts, and you could actually just you know, reenact when they destroy them in the movie, but uh, have some Junkions come along and fix up. McFans toys will make Junkions to fix him up for you if that's what you like. But of course, this is what's gonna get added to, what's it gonna add to? It's gonna add to this. Their new Optimus Prime painted in white. And here we are with his Optimus Prime painted in white, and it looks good, it looks okay. But I'm kind of weirded out by the cut out in the center of the chest and a few things like I still kind of like magic square design better for prime but this is ultra skinny and ultra slim 
And that's kind of what you need to get to the end result of a really good Ultra Magnus. Which brings us into their Delta Magnus repaint. And so now I kind of have no excuse. I, I kind of have to have the Magic Square as the original and now Delta Magnus as this. So I'll probably be in on this. It looks pretty good. I like the massive level of paint. The way New Age presents. And it, it all works really well with this. In fact, it looks great with this. Now, here's the alt mode. And the alt mode, I really think once you kind of add color to something that's predominantly white and you give the color to it, you can see more of the uh, line work and all the stuff that's going on with it. So this does look really good. It, it just feels super ultra G1. And it looks great. And here is the underneath bot mode, the blue Octopus Prime. And I think it's bang for buck for this set if you go with it. More Legends news? What? More Legends news? Okay, there's more Legends news. McFans Toys Mechanic Studio MS29 Falcon has more pictures out. Now, I'm a little torn on this because I have the first version of their Springer. And I knew it was okay, but it could have been better. I don't really like 2.0s from the same company saying, ah, we did okay the first time and we'll spin drift this around and try again. And that's what they're doing. It looks good. It looks great. It, it's a good option and it's going to be better than the original one. But you know, what do I need another Springer for? Maybe I'll throw that one in the helicopter mode or something like that and then have this one in bot mode, but all modes look good on this one. So mm, it's a tough one. So anyway, here it goes. And it looks like they have multiple different color greens on it, which really works out. And there's so much to this to make it look super G1, work really well. I think they went back to the drawing board, but I don't think they really had to. There's more characters out there. Anyway, here we go with the uh, alt mode. And again, this is one that actually might even be better than most of the masterpiece options. That's kind of the problem. See, it's true to the tune in all three modes. Some of the masterpiece options uh, miss a mode by a mile. And this one does not. Anyway, Magic Square is not going to be here this week. What? They're here this week? Okay. So they're coming out with their 2.0 Prime. Another one of my problems is doing 2.0s in the Legends of things you've already made that are okay. And now they're redoing their Prime and these are test shots. Not fully painted, not the what you're going to get when you buy it. So it's still kind of like, oh, is that okay? Well, imagine yellow on the waist. Imagine blue on the chest, on the on the windshield. Imagine a few other of the paint apps with the yellow on the arms. and got those kinds of things, right? Like, there's not much paint on a magic square, but the little bit that they do is very, very necessary. So looking at it like this, so you understand there's going to be more paint on this. It's going to look a little bit better. The design element on this, most people are in agreement that they're trying to match MP44. They're trying to go from MP10 to MP44, that kind of thought process when they're doing their 2.0. And so, yes, it's like some forgiveness and a pass for that, but still, what about the other like 38, 40, 69, 69 characters you could be making instead of another prime? But it does look good. So, I mean, I guess there's that. It does look good. I'm going to hold out for a premium painted version. I don't want bare plastic Magic Square anymore. I don't want any more Magic Square bare plastic. Give me some paint on it before I buy it. I still don't have your Shockwave because you did not paint that thing. And they still haven't put out a painted upscaled paint Shockwave. So I still don't own theirs. I own the McFans Toys. And here it is with the compartment open up. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, everything about it looks good. It looks great. But we've invested hundreds of dollars into old versions of Primes and Ultra Magnuses to now get another one for another, like, 100 bucks. Here's all of the stuff in it. They command a higher price because there's so much in it. So, I mean, I, I understand that. But um, will there be a bare bones option down the road? I think a lot of people would rather have that. Getting into Magic Square and their next set of combiner for their Devastator, I think their Devastator is going to be the best. 
I do. I really do. I think it's going to look the best. I think it's going to be very plain and plain Jane and no paint on it, little paint on it. But what I'm doing with their Minosaurs buying the KO oversized version, I kind of expect the same thing with this, you know. But I look forward to it, excited for it, to watch other people, you know, spend the high dollars and uh, put it together. Here's the alt modes, and they look great. I know Magic Square Designs, in my opinion, are the superior design in, in Legends, but but they do not paint it well, and they do not present well. Hopefully, they do down the road. All right, so this is something interesting. It's a Takara Diaclone Reboot DA90 Combat Bike. Now, I get the, the Tron feel out of this. It's got the Tron feels, but... You see the bike, you see the character, and you see the cocoon. Kind of like the 1989 Batman Batmobile has a co cocoon. I don't know everything about this. I don't know, well, I don't know anything about this. I'm speculating on everything I say, but it's still interesting. Now, here is the figure of uh, unpainted and painted and front and back and a helmet and all that kind of stuff. So maybe there's going to be something else more going on with the helmet that I know. And then here shows the whole cocoon mechanism or the encapsulating of it or whatever. I mean, I don't know. This almost looks like some sort of a Hot Wheels thing where you slam down a button and you shoot it out. But I doubt that's going to happen with these adult collectibles. Still something interesting, wild and out there that's going on today. So getting into some mainline Hasbro news and uh, Takara news, because Takara is behind the engineering on these, by the way. This is the leader class version of Starscream, Coronation Starscream. So 20 bucks for some extra parts and pieces and bits here and there. I have this. It's a decent figure. I don't like the lower legs and how the, the fins are on the side of his legs. I think that's terrible. They should have made it removable, but anyway, that's the big downside. That's really the only downside to the figure. The rest of the figure is great. Transformation's okay. Alt mode's okay. Those fins on the feet are just stupid. Downright stupid. Now, Coronation is cool. It's cool because it's so epic in Transformers lore and in the history. It really is kind of awesome. And so... 50 bucks, I don't know. Does it worth 20 bucks for these parts? Let's look at them. So what you're looking at is $20 worth of plastic. You get a throne, which that might in itself be worth 20 bucks, actually. A throne, a cape, that is the... All these coronation sets are so similar. They're like so similar. They have this little uh, movement on the back, some articulation on the back. And then you've got the, ch the shoulder pieces and you got the helmet. But it looks like it's got some more guns with it so that'll work that that's cool so overall i guess it really is a 20 dollar value but then i already own this exact figure so now i'm paying 50 for the figure so i'm paying 50 for these parts because i already went in on the figure we got more pictures of their perceptor now i gotta say that it looks really good but i also have to say it is almost impossible for any company in the world to screw up Perceptor. Perceptor is the easiest figure ever to make. By the way, take the vintage one and add about 20% more articulation because it already was pretty good. And there you go. So it's really, really, really hard to mess this figure up. And it looks good. I expect it to look good. And it has more solid points to it than the average Hasbro figure, there's there's a lot to like about this. There's a lot to love about this. And I'll probably get two of these. One for each month. Well, one to keep sealed and one to open and fiddle with. So, let's be real. But he still has those inside of his arms that need to get filled with those fillers from these upgrade kits. Speaking of upgrade kits. The only reason I'm really talking about this is because... DNA Designs is making a multiple character upgrade kit. Now, I really feel like this is a good trend that they're doing, and I like to see more of this. So it's working for three different characters. You're getting it for the Dinobot, you're getting it for Black Arachnia, and you're getting it for Scorponok. And and not, not yeah, it's all Beast Wars. 
but you can see what I saw in there and I'll show you a couple other pictures. So we got Dinobot, we got a golden ring, we got a, a, like a handmade axe device and you got a gun and you got his ammo belts and you got side guns and all this stuff. So that's, that's pretty cool within itself right there. So that's one. You also have Scorponok and some extra parts for him. Which I'm, I'm not really sure what all is in this, but anyway. You got some extra parts for Scorponok. And then you also have some Black Arachnia upgrades. So Black Arachnia is going to be getting uh, the, the visor upgrade. And yeah, that kind of that works. So things you can use for multiple characters in one set. But I kind of I kind of think like, why not get like a every filler set like every filler set we've made every filler set right now for all your figures for the whole line for like 50 bucks so we're about a month away from tfcon toronto in canada for those of you that are going out of the country for this uh this is december 10th and 12th it's a it's about a month and a what a month and a few days and the special guest feature is going to be david Sobolov, uh, voices of Blitzwing in the Bumblebee movie Death Charge and Beast Wars. De Death Charge is the most awesome figure or character in Beast Wars. And then Shockwave from Transformers Prime. But what I want to know is, will Fans Toys show combined mode for their combiners at this TFCon? Please, say they do. But I'm betting, of course they don't. Another discussion about Dinobots here. So, when you look at Season 4, the premiere of Cyberverse, they are actually going to have a lot of Dinobots in it. So, it's a big Dinobot, Dinobot combiner kind of stuff going on here. And it's supposed to be released beginning November 22nd. But, I want to say that I saw these in the store and I'm highly disappointed in the designs of Cyberverse Dinobots. I like Dinobots, but... I would much rather pay 50 bucks for what Hasbro's doing in the leader class than buy the super ultra cheap, very bad versions of Cyberverse figures, but kids gotta have something to flip back and forth easy, and that's why they exist, so I support that. So I'm sure all of you are just getting really tired of me rambling on about Transformers news, so let me talk about a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on out there in the world right now, but at Target... Target got in this wave, and I think they call this Wave 7. Um, I gotta go look at what I just canceled <laughs> at BBTS for way, way, way more, more money. These were on buy one, get one half off sell up till Saturday. I didn't really talk about it because this week there was nothing good showing up at Target, but these showed up at the very last day, only one case, and I got them. It's the stars aligned for me once in my life, so I was lucky. But I'm really excited. That Sorceress looks great. I never had a Jitsu. Buzz Off is always kind of a cool figure. And Stratos comic version actually does look better than the Stratos we all had growing up. So, great wave. But I do want to elaborate on this a little bit. It seems like Walmart gets one wave. And then the next wave goes to Target. And the next wave goes to Walmart. And the next wave goes to Target. It They do not get the same waves. And if they do, it's very little of the same wave. So it seems like it's an alternating wave thing. I've cracked the code here, and that's what's going on. Walmart will not get these. And if they get these, I eat my words, but it doesn't make sense. Walmart had all of it for the first, like, six months. And then it was supposed to be open to everybody, including BBTS and all those other places. But Target and Walmart are still the cheapest places to get them because now they're almost $20 each on BBTS. They're like $18.99 or some nonsense. I canceled that because I got these. And I'm kind of hoping you find them in the wild and don't pay stupid crazy money. So this past week, Ramen Toys came out with some pictures of a lot of this stuff that's uh, going on with their figures for the, the 80s Commanders and Centurions. Now, here is a bunch of heads. Well, specifically 1,000 heads. And that's pretty cool. They're making 1,000 of each. They've said that a few times, and there it is. Uh, let's look at Ace McCloud right here, and this is parts for their uh, their Ace McCloud, the Air Commander figure, and looks pretty good. 
They it looks like they've added the weathering to it already. So thousand of these. That's what they look like in a big old bin. Here's Ace's head, and um, you know he's Eric Mander, whatever. It looks good. It looks very human esque, humanoid. The the color tone looks good. All of that. So it works for me, and it's different enough that they stay out of trouble. Here we are with the backpack. Now this one took me aback a bit. I thought it was going to be a more kind of a yellowish tannish color and it's white. But after looking at it for a few minutes, I got to think about it. I like it a little bit better. It's different. It's not exactly the same as the vintage toys, which, you know, I've got like eight of these for the vintage line. So it looks pretty good. I like the coloration. Where's the antenna? I think that's a different bin of a thousand antennas. And then here we go with the launcher. And then I was a little disappointed in the color of the launcher. But I really love the orange. The orange on the missile is really nice. Uh, I would have liked a deeper blue than this. It's more of a gray. But at the end of the day, these are all going to look great. They're going to look amazing. Simply because they're updated versions of what we had back in the day. And they stand out a little bit different than what we had in the day. So it looks good. It looks great. I look forward to having these. And we should have them pretty soon. I'm excited because this show's production is well, 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 well underway. So looking at G.I. Joe, we've got G.I. Joe Wave 2 for Super 7. And I've got a lot to say about this. And I'm really only going to show this picture. There's tons of pictures. I'm actually going to make another G.I. Joe video coming up because there's a lot more to say about G.I. Joe. But... Destro is super on point. I want to say that out the gate. I know these are 50, 50 bucks, 55 bucks, something, but Destro is on point. Lady J, the face is so much closer to the tune and accurate than what, what the dude that does not look like Lady J that Hasbro gave us. And then Flint, Flint looks even better than the Flint that's hanging on clearance at all these places at Target and Walgreens. I did get a Walgreens flint for 11 bucks for uh, for the classified. I do want to be a little bit critical about Baroness. She looks like a 12-year-old boy. They did not give her a female body. She looks like a 12-year-old boy. So hopefully the other iterations don't just repaint this mold because it's not good. I pre-ordered it. I'm, I, I got it coming, but it's not good. I don't really like the design of the body on this. Maybe uh, Brian will fix that <laughs> down the road. I don't know. The face and the glasses and all that look okay. But that's not a female body. So I really didn't talk much about the Rancor in the past. But the Star Wars HasLab Rancor 350, 380 after tax. And I don't know. I'm still on the fence about this guy. It's going to be huge. It's going to be big. It's going to be... Uh, on scale like like size of the razor crest so enough plastic to equal the razor crest plastic at 350 so same price point same amount of plastic size uh but i don't know for a rancor 350 i don't know but guess what i always say it's the extra add-ins that might sell it even though i have five gorian guards uh this thing might sell it for me just this carded Gamorrean guard might sell it for me. I love vintage inspired card backs and now they're doing Power of the Force. Will this open it up for Power of the Force in the vintage collection? Maybe. Hopefully. I mean, Hasbro, wake up. That's what we want, but it looks good. The Gamorrean guard even looks a little bit more painted and more stuff and more accessories than the standard one. Looks really good. This is the first tier unlock. What are the other tiers? Well, Malakili, the, uh, of course, the Rancor Keeper, the, uh, the Dancer. The Dancer would be a great one. That would be excellent. There's so many more things they can do with the other three unlocks. So uh, this is at 11,000, and I'm sure they'll hit it. So there's a Hasbro Pulse Special Yavin Ceremony Leia. Not very popular because still in stock like a week later at Hasbro Pulse. I'm tempted just because, oddly enough, as these card backs of this particular card back of figures are only worth like five bucks. They're worthless on the market. 
at five bucks you can't sell them. So you gotta give them give them away for like three bucks or two bucks. But this is kind of a nostalgia pull for those of us that collected in the 90s. And to have it in this form is pretty nice. I like it. It's a $30 figure that's really only worth 20. And so all that stuff added in, there's different stuff they did with this figure. It's not just a reissue with a different dress. They did different stuff with this figure. So it's it's interesting, it's cool, but at the end of the day, I do not like Hasbro Pulse. I have like a massive hatred for it ever since they screwed me on Zartan. So we got some pictures of Walmart exclusive versions of the Black Series Clone Wars figures, which it's kind of cool. This is the Clone Wars before Clone Wars was Clone Wars. This is when they were five minute shorts and they were animated in some weird, strange style, and uh, I didn't get much out of those shorts myself, but some people love it. And we have actual real world figures with a little bit of touch of the cartoon, I guess. So this is Mace Windu. Here we go with the Arc Trooper. And it's interesting, it looks good, but anything that's a trooper sells. It sells, and it sells well, so. That's, this is going to sell well. Whether it's cool or not. A Grievous. Now this is the, this is pretty a pretty good value. It's a Grievous figure. Now I don't think he's going to have all four of his arms. He's going to have two arms. And so it's the early days of Grievous, I guess. But interesting look to it. And I might actually pick all these up just for fun. If I see them on the shelf. But I'm not going out of my way to pre-order them. Because, just, why bother? So, anyway, let me know what you think about this week's weekly news and review. What else is going on out there that I missed? What is cool in the world of toys that I don't know about because I like to say it enough? Like, subscribe, go to your hanger, out.